Hello guys, hello. If you can just let us know in the chat if this sounds okay, and if you can hear Johan. If you can hear me. Uh, Tommaso. No. Hello. No. Right, so let's see. Come on now, don't put that in the chat, that's naughty. <laughs> yes, we can hear, good, okay, is it happening? Okay, thanks guys, thanks for coming along to, to watch our uh, little live stream AMA talk edition. You might have seen us talking about it on moyang.com and on our Twitter feed. And we collected up a massive, massive list of questions to put to these guys uh, and we can get you some exclusive information. Good. L a little louder, okay. Well, it would attempt to be a bit louder. But yes, okay. Sounds amazing, they say. That's quite cool. <laughs> we could we could up the volume slightly on the thing. What do you think is okay? Yeah, I can I can put it up a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put it up a tiny bit. Say hello, Jan. Hello, Owen. Hello, mate. How are you doing today? Great. <laughs> okay, we we put the volume up slightly, so hopefully that sounds a bit better for you guys. Um, but anyway, if there's anything terrible that happens with the sound or the picture, then let us know. The sound needs to be much more louder. Right, I'm doing the app. One second. Wait, but wait, but it's delayed, so. <laughs> professionals. We are professionals. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I'm I think we should just start. With the password you gave to them. We're doing it. We're okay, starting. Okay. We're starting. We're doing this thing. We're doing it live. <laughs> okay, so anyway, once again, thanks for joining. Uh, I'm going to go through the questions from the Reddit thread, which you guys kindly submitted, and we're going to start with the highest voted ones in Canada this time. So let's introduce ourselves. I'm Owen. I am Chief Word Officer at Mojang. I write posts, and I write posts for some of the games and stuff. This is... Uh, I'm Jens, or Jeb. Uh, I'm the design lead for Minecraft uh, on both PC and Pocket Edition. And I'm Johan, uh, Jay Bernardson on Twitter, and um, I'm a game developer and work primarily on uh, Mac and Pocket Edition. Uh, I'm Tommaso, or uh, Tom on Twitter, and I'm, game de I'm, I'm actually a developer on Pocket Edition. Okay, uh, great. Now I can see some people asking questions in the, in the Twitch chat. Maybe we'll get around to those kind of things, but we've got so many from the Reddit thread that we're just going to go through these first. So, although feel free to chat in the Twitch chat, that's cool, but we're going to go through these questions we've already got. So, the first one, uh, this was the highest voted uh, question on the Reddit thread, and it comes from Wi-Fi Creeper. He actually gave three questions, and people were super impressed. So, the first question, the highest voted question, will you add arrows in the crafting table to select the color of the item? So wool, dyed leather armor, and that kind of stuff. Can you add some kind of way to it? Yeah, so uh, we're completely remaking the inventory right now. Um, and in the future, you will only be able to see the recipes that you can actually make or that you have recipes in your inventory. Um, and we think it looks really great. And it should be hopefully finished by once the crates are all built in. Okay, now the second question from the same guy from Wi-Fi Creeper, also voted up highly. Will there be a world option in the create world menu, like large biomes, generate structures, bonus chests, treats, etc., and like selecting layers for super flat worlds, that kind of thing? Um, yeah, I, I'm working on that. The, there's going to be a simple skin that's basically what we have now, but without the fields. Uh, but also an advantage screen that will not be as advanced as you see. So, like, not, uh, not with, um, I don't know, uh, the options to generate structures, but it will still let you decide between different world sizes and game mode and flat world, so, and the fields. So, yeah, some of that. Cool. And the third question from Wi-Fi Creeper is, can you make chests, crafting tables, furnaces, and inventory in creative mode 
like on the PC version. So we can craft some smart doors and creative, use armor and throw a dice down. So yeah, no support battle, but we've got this question from Link to War or to War. Is it possible to know the X, Y, Z positions in 0 0.9.0? We need a map and an F3 in Pocket Edition, please. Um, the the debug the bug screen that on PC edition is not intended to be a part of the game, so you're not supposed to know your 3D coordinates in the game. So we have a, we don't feel any rush to uh, add that for Pocket Edition. Okay, good answer. Next po next question from Unevava Univav Unevava. I'm going with. Will hunger be in there? I, ref I assume they refer to 0.9.0. Plus, why the beds make us restore life? Um, well, hunger will will eventually come to Pocket Edition, but not in 09. Um, and we actually discussed the beds the other day. Was it was it you, Tomo? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I've added to the to-do to remove the, that thing, because I didn't even know it was there, actually. But yeah. So, I think we're removing it. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think it's removed now. Oh no! I mean, if you had removed it. No, it's it will be removed yeah. for nine. I yeah. think. Okay. Uh, next question we have here is from a catchy title, catchy name, nine one six two five three. That's his name or her name. I know Apple wouldn't allow for betas, but could you at least consider compiling the binaries and updated resources of the .deb package for those of us with jailbroken devices and the knowledge to install them? It's directed at you, Tommaso. Yeah, um, I don't know. I don't think we support jailbroken devices that much, so I don't What's your idea. Well, one one of the reasons why we only uh, release the betas on Android is to very easily get out a new build and iterate on those quite quickly. And uh, I think it would be counterproductive. Uh, like, it doesn't really make sense for us to release another version. Um, our goal is to have the beta period be as short as possible. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and I I can also add that it, it wouldn't make sense for us to make a spe special version just for jailbreak phones. Yeah, I guess it's a weird place to put developing resources, you know, resources you want to concentrate on, on, on the remainder. Anyway, uh, next question from Dman4771. Will you add in-game music? Mm. Yeah, uh, it should be added for 1.0. That's the idea along with the new sounds or like having the same sounds on Android and iOS, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, probably. Any more to add on that subject, Jens? Um, no, I'm just thinking about uh, the music files are very large, but I suppose uh, people have good connections and Wi-Fi when they update the game. Uh, Edicts is the next user, next highest voted user. What is the chance for external controller options? I'd like to use my USB mouse or my USB controller at some point. Button bindings for, contr for controllers will be nice too. Is this too difficult? <coughs> well, uh, Amazon has a uh, gamepad support for the new Fire TV device. Um, we haven't uh, planned to add more uh, gamepads anytime soon, uh, but we will definitely have the support in the in the games in the future. Okay, cool. Uh, next question from Aaron Frank. If you remember, you came onto a Minecraft forum thread discussing cubic chunks. This is directed at you, Tommaso. And you chatted a bit about how it could help improve the performance of Pocket Edition. It would be great if you discussed this on the panel. So have a little discussion. Yeah, okay. No, yeah, for who doesn't know the thing, basically Minecraft only extends infinitely uh, in 2D, so not, m not in vertical. And there was this thing to on the Minecraft forum about making it extend vertically infinitely, so making the pieces of the world cubic. 
and that was like that was like interesting in some ways it might have made the game faster in some ways but slower in like a big number of other ways so it's probably not going to happen but yeah it's an interesting idea so cool uh the next question is from minecrafty it's quite a cool name will minecraft pocket edition get enchanting uh, yeah, we are planning to add enchanting. It will probably be in uh, 1.0 or 1.1. 1 .1. Um, <laughs> a little bit depending on what 1.1 or 1.0 will be. Yeah, we we have we have planned it for either 1.0 or 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, we have uh, like uh, plans for both of those versions. It's just that we don't know which one we want to do first. Um, and uh, enchanting would then come together with the uh, potion brewing and all all those things that were once the adventure update back in the uh, PC with beta. Okay, uh, the next question is from relapse. Relapsing is quite tricky to split this up into into syllables. Relap relaxing, gone. Oh God. Relapsing once more, relapsing once more. It's like a quiz show or something. That <laughs> okay, sorry. That was relapsing once more. Anyway, he asks, or she asks, could you give us a sense of where Minecraft Pocket Edition is headed? Eventually, you'll get as close to PC as current hardware allows. Will the game parallel future PC development after that point, or are there plans to take Pocket Edition in its own direction? Good question. Um, yeah, it's a very good question. Um, I think uh, uh, the uh, the PC version is currently being developed towards making it as flexible and and mod friendly as possible, and uh, we we don't really uh, plan to do that for the Pocket Edition because uh, running uh, non signed uh, codes on the devices are are much trickier, uh, even if we have scripts and such. Uh, so it the Pocket Edition will probably have more designed features from us, which means that once Pocket Edition is parallel with the PC when it comes to gameplay features, we will start looking into adding things that maybe are Pocket Edition only. It just because you you won't have uh, access to the same number of mods as you have on the PC edition. Do you want to add something? So, so yeah, so uh, Pocket Edition will uh, probably mainly be I mean, changing the uh, pocket edition will probably be limited to like uh, things that such as texture packs and uh, and skins. Cool. Right. Uh, the next question is from G Money Five. What are your plans for the far biome, and will it contain a new exclusive block? Yeah, uh, well, it doesn't really exist right now, but the plants are there. It, it should be easier than a, it, it's not like really a new biome, but it should be an interesting thing, but uh, it still needs gameplay testing to know if it's like, uh, if it will be a thing, but I hope so, yeah. But no new blocks, no. <laughs> oh, no new blocks. <laughs> oh. I to say that like without. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, no new blocks. Um, next question from the Crafting Times, or his name's Crafting Times. Is weather implemented, slow, snow, rain, thunder, etc.? If not, when do you think it will be? I didn't, re I didn't really think of that. Um, so with, with the new biomes and with like different grass colors and stuff like that, we, I, at least I have thought a lot about uh, adding the weather effects. Um, Hopefully we will be able to look at them in like the 1.1 version, whenever that will be, um, and try to add some of them. They will probably not look the same as in PC because that would be very, very difficult to do on a mobile device. Okay, uh, next question from. <laughs> I'm not very good at pronouncing. S hog hick. No, actually, it's just a random string of letters. I'm not, I'm not even going to attempt it. Go to the Reddit thread if you want to know who asked this question. Are there plans for releasing a, a Mojang-made server software? If not, will external servers get a better interface 
to connect to them. Um, we will obviously continue our work on uh, on Minecraft Realms, but we haven't really decided if we're going to do a public version or not. Uh, currently, it's leaning towards not having a public server edition or pocket edition. So you will be, when if you want to play with your friends, you will have to be on the same Wi-Fi and share it, your world as you do today. Uh, we've got a couple of questions from the same person here, but Kabumi asks, number one, how will we change our skins? Yeah, do you want to? Yeah, okay, so um, there is going to be three basic ways to get skins. Um, hopefully in the next version, 0.91 or 1.0. Um, the first one is to just log in, uh, in um, with your Mojang account, uh, the same way that people have used the rounds before, and uh, we'll just download the skin for you. Um, you can also specify a file and say that, yeah, I want this to be my skin. And we're also going to have skin packs. So for those of you guys who doesn't really have the artistic vein in order to <laughs> make skin yourself, like, like I'm, I'm one of those guys, uh, you will be able to have a selection to choose from. So that would be three ways. Okay, cool. Uh, number two from Kabumi. If I create a world with a certain seed on PC, then use the same seed on Pocket Edition, will the worlds be the same? They might, but we're not going to guarantee that. I mean, a, a lot of it looked similar, right? But uh, the Pocket Edition will not use the uh, 256 uh, world height, so you will not get exactly the same uh, uh, terrain, how, however, what, what regardless of the seed. Uh, and also, um, our seed is only like 32 bits instead of 64. So, so that might be an issue in the future. Um, but some worlds will look the same, but not all of them. Okay. Uh, this is more of a statement than a question. Hostile mobs in creative would be nice. Uh, oh yeah, we, uh, we are going to add more of the uh, spawner eggs, uh, including some of the hostile mobs. That's nice. And the next question from Kabumi is, what are your thoughts on redstone, other dimensions, such as the end of the nether, and the rest of the PC mobs? Do you plan to add them in the future? Well, I, I, as I was saying, we have two, two main, main updates coming after 09 that we can't decide in which order we want to do them. One is uh, enchanting and potion brewing and such, as I already mentioned, and the other is uh, redstone. Um, so we are just trying to decide which one we want to do make first and which one that makes the more sense to do first. Okay. And the next one, when will commands be implemented such that such such as slash game mode from the same guy, Kabumi. Um, I'm not sure. It, it's not a priority for us. Okay. Uh, hopefully the volume will be slightly louder for you guys now. Um, I've just tweaked the settings, so let's see how that goes. Um, Right, the next one is from zero to f zero to fourteen, I guess. Zero tall fourteen? Zero tall fourteen. Zero tall four. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Working on Minecraft Pocket Edition as a job, do you still play it for fun? Um I played Minecraft today actually for fun. Uh I just wanted to build a house. But that that was on the PC edition, I must admit. <laughs> uh, how how about you? Um, well, I mean, I I do certain things like I like flying around in like worlds and like doing a little bit of mining. But I don't really like play the entire game that often anymore. Um, since we actually play it every day, it's <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to be uh, starting to be a little bit too much. 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I still play the PC sometimes with uh, when it happens to play it with friends, but I didn't play the Pocket that much, both because I never had a good phone, that good phone, and because there were no caves, but then I mostly play survival. So that's going to be fixed, I hope. Okay. Uh, the next question here from Moose Cave. I know villagers will be in 0 0.9.0, but how good is their AI? For the Minecraft, the Xbox Minecraft villagers started out with an incredibly simple AI that caused them to be unable to leave houses on their own. And if they did get out, they would leave the villagers and roam the map. A pocket editions villagers like these proto villagers or closer to PC. How clever are the villagers exactly? Uh, currently, they are not very clever. I haven't. Uh, <laughs> I haven't ported the door opening behavior from PC yet because it it just uh, became a really like a mess of things I had to do. So I'm uh, I'm currently porting the actual villages instead first. So yeah, I'm sorry they are currently really stupid, but uh, the uh, objective is of course to make them similar to the PC version. Okay, uh, the next question is from. Kman42097, he says, will there be a day-night cycle in creative mode? Um, I personally, I think it would be kind of nice to to both have it and have uh, like options to toggle it in creative mode. But uh, we have we have already so much to do uh, for to finishing 09. Uh, so maybe that will not be included in uh, in 09, but maybe later. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the actual changing and stopping the time is there, but to do it well without commands, because yeah, going back to the question from before, I don't think that commands are very nice on a phone to like write, and I don't think they should be part of the game. Uh, yeah, we w we wanted to do that with a nice interface, and that takes time, and we don't have time, so yeah. Okay, I'm trying to fix the sound a bit, but we see how it goes. Known Unknown says, can you give us a time frame on when sessions slash login is implemented and available to external servers, maybe in 1.0 or something else? Also, on the same tangent, are you planning to implement more anti-piracy features both on iOS and Android? Currently, it tells you that you own Pocket Edition even if you use a pirated APK with your Mojang account when logging into Realms. Nice information. <laughs> <laughs> um, I it's, uh, it's a bit tricky for us to actually verify that you have bought the game when you con con connect to Mojang. Um, so I'm not really sure how to do that. I, I suppose it's I it's in our interest to make sure that people are paying for our game, but at the same time, we 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 want to put our our development time where it makes the biggest difference. Um, we we uh, if uh, uh, external servers are going to have access to the modeling system, that's more a question for our our web force, as we call them because that's related to how the Mojang account a API works. So I can't really answer that. Anything to add? No? Good. Okay. Uh, the next question is from MC620. Will you ever change, I like this one, will you ever change the way zombie pigmen's faces are? They're missing some of their face compared to the ones on PC. Yeah, they don't have their helmets yet, so that's going to be fixed um, when we actually like do another iteration on them. Uh, that will possibly be done for 1.0 or 1.1. Isn't it uh, mismatched? Uh, yeah, but I think it's a helmet uh, implementation uh, thing. Uh, uh, there's another question from th from MC620. Uh, will there be mushroom biomes in 0 0.9.0? There will be mushroom biomes. Yeah! <laughs> I've seen them. 
Nice. Sweet. You hear it here first or possibly second, but okay. Beacon one one four. Will we have strongholds? Not necessarily the end. I just want the different stone blocks in survival. Uh, yes, I'm hoping to be able to add uh, strongholds already for O9. Uh, but um, we will see. It's kind. It, it, it also depends a little bit on uh, how I'm able to to prepare for for the the end portal, if I'm going to have it or not. Uh, one of the problems we always have uh, when we're adding terrain features is that when you return, uh, when you get a new update to the terrain and uh, you have an old world, then parts may be missing. So we have to do things right from the start, um, which is which is actually uh, why I want to have strongholds for O9 because adding them later is going to be m much more difficult. Okay. And the next question from Paul M. Cooker. When will you add boats and all minecart types, excluding minecart spawners? Uh, when we add redstone. Boom. Nothing to add there? No? no. So, uh, did you want to sh uh, show from the, the game? Yeah, but how do we do that? <laughs> you, you can h hold your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Who goes? <laughs> okay. We were we were uh, thinking we're of, of also releasing a video um, tomorrow, weren't we, with some cool features? Yeah, we we will do some uh, some short uh, stream to just show off the new the okay. new biomes and stuff like that. So no real time showing. No, I think it's very difficult to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, do you guys want to? And maybe answer one or two questions from the chat, and then we can, yeah. yeah. Okay, so to give you guys a chance to ask questions in the chat, which you have been doing, yeah, put put your questions into the chat now on Twitch TV, and I will pick out some. So yeah, go ahead. While we are doing that, I'll just ask another question from the Reddit thread. So, uh, will giant mushrooms, mushrooms, and large oaks be implemented? Asks the Thought Ninja. Um, I the large mushrooms and the large oaks are already in the game. Um, so how's it going to go with the mu mushrooms? Well, uh, I suppose the mushrooms are fairly easy to add, so they should be included. Okay, so I'm getting these from the chat now. Um, oh, it's going so quickly. Oh, <laughs> it's quite tricky. Deluxe Plays asks, when will spawners be added like zombie spawners? Uh, we are planning to add uh, zombies, zombie spawners. Are they called zombie spawners? Yeah, the mob spawners. Mob, yeah, we're planning to add mob spawners to the next version. Uh, Black Panther 140, will you add Endermen on the end? Uh, we're not adding the end now, but uh, Endermen has already been added. Uh, w uh, let's have a look. Guven McKeeran, will skins be at 9.0? Nope. <laughs> they, they will uh, probably be in 9.1 or in uh, 1.0. A little bit depending on when 1.0 is released. Uh, after the summer at some point. Okay, we've got some repeated questions that we answered earlier in the in the chat, but if you missed the start of it, then we'll be putting it um, on moyang.com tomorrow. But a couple more questions. Uh, Nexipal. Do you love your jobs? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I love my job as well. <laughs> <laughs> Any news on the PS Vita version? Is it like Pocket Edition? Uh, PS Vita version is being developed by 4J, um, and they are working on it, working very hard, but I don't think we've really got news on it yet, have we? No, we can't really say anything about that. Yeah, but uh, it's going to be great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, that was from It's Brothers Gaming. Anyway. Eagle Rex, what will the world size in megabytes be after the 0 0.90 update? Exactly, A lot. Tommaso. Well, it depends on how much you walk and or fly around and how many friends you have, I think. Because, yeah, they 
We're still designing on that actually, but um, they should be quite bigger. Like, yeah, you can you can definitely fill up your phone with that. Um, we're still deciding if to save the everything you see or not, or to regenerate that each time, and that's like battery versus uh, disk disk space. Very easy question here from Carrots Orange. What are your names? My name is Owen. I'm uh, Jeb. I'm Johan. I'm Tommaso. There you go. Easy. We absolutely nailed that question then. <laughs> um, What's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do <laughs> let's do five more questions. Okay, from the chat. Um, are you planning on adding the option to dye armors? We kind of covered that at the start, actually, didn't we? Are you adding jukeboxes? Asks Danny Ways. Well, not now. It's no point adding them before we have music, and music will come later. Will Minecraft become an MMO? I, it is already an MMO. No, just With kidding. Pokemon. <laughs> no, it's not an MMO. Um. <laughs> there's, there's so many questions in here. Can, can, you, can everyone slow down asking questions so I can read them, please? Can everyone just take a moment, just take a breath? Um, LJD802, when will beacons be added? Um, that's far into the future because the beacons require us to add the, the wither, uh, which requires us to have wither skeletons, which requires the nether, probably, unless we put them somewhere else. And uh, yeah, and we need all the mob effects that the beacons produce, so yeah, much, much later. Okay, uh, the shock 986. Is it possible to add Twitch streaming to Pocket Edition? Uh, maybe. Um, there are some mobile games that are already starting to add it. So, uh, at least for iOS, it's something that we we are probably going to look into a little bit yeah. um, and see if it's possible. Yeah, I, we you, we definitely need OpenGL yes too. I think so, or uh, like to try with extensions, but after 1.0, I'd say. Yeah. Okay, and the last question I'm going to ask is... <laughs> it's quite tricky to ask to think of the last one. Caves, are we going to get caves? When will caves be added from Owenok? Uh, they're there, but we still don't have ravines. Okay, and I think, oh, let's just have this one more. Horses, what are horses? Will we ever get horses in Pocket Edition? Um, yeah, I, I love the horses. Uh, they are not actually in our plans yet, um, but I don't see, I maybe we can squeeze them in in some of the future updates. Um, we already have so much to do, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I think it'd be cool, like, if you want to get more news on Pocket Edition, you can check moyang.com, but you can also check uh, everyone's Twitter feeds, so maybe we should give our names once more, and maybe our Twitter usernames, and people can follow us on that for updates and secret info and stuff. Well, my Twitter, uh, Twitter name is Jeb with an underscore after it. Uh, and my name is Jay Bernardson, which is very complicated, but since you actually found uh, the Twitch stream, uh, I guess you can. <laughs> I guess you can figure it out. And mine is Tom CC with uh, an underscore at the end. Uh, so at yeah, beginning. at beginning. Uh, I never remember. No, you said the beginning. No, no. You're, you're underscore Tom CC. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> if <laughs> if you go to one. if you go to mojang.com yeah. and then you can click there to find out who works at Mojang and then you can find uh, Tom was there on that list. <laughs> yeah. Twitter was out of name anyway. <laughs> And I'm I'm Popo Gamel on Twitter, which you can see at the bottom of the post somewhere on .com. But I'm not actually working directly on Pocket Edition, so don't don't freak out and ask me too many questions. But yes, okay, thanks guys. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Um, we'll have some footage of the update up on Moyang.com tomorrow, um, and we'll embed this as well once we get the file. So if you missed the start of it or something like that, then you can watch it back. So yeah. We good? Bye-bye.